What's up everybody, Lefty Luke here, and today I'm pulling out the trusty Stratocaster, gonna be putting a fresh set of strings on it, gonna be cleaning up and talking about why I love it so much, so stay tuned. So it wasn't really that my Strat was in like bad shape per se, just the last time I put some strings on it, I put heavier strings than I meant to on it. Wasn't paying attention to the packaging, I guess. You failed! Doesn't quite fit the Strat like it should, so I'm gonna cut these off and put some new ones on it, and while I'm at it, might not polish her up as well. So the first thing, obviously, you want to do is cut off the strings. Careful, don't poke your eye out, kids. Then you're going to want to take all these dead strings off, except these aren't really that dead, but you know, they're dead now. If I can get through restringing this strat without sticking myself in the finger, I'm going to be real proud. All right, I think we made it. With a Stratocaster, you put the strings through the back and up and out, so you got to pull them out the opposite way. All right, so now we got the dead strings off it, so what I like to do next for my Strat is just clean it up a little bit, you know? Got the strings off it, might as well. Make sure you don't use like a paper towel or something on your guitar, like get a good like screen cleaning cloth type material. Don't drench your guitar, just do a little couple sprays. You don't want to get like up in the pickups too, because that's where a lot of like dust can collect if you're shredding. That's dust. Shredder. Use some of that guitar polish, get up in there before you buff it. Buff it? Somebody say buff it? No, I mean buff it like you buff something, like a car, I guess. Who buffs their car? Nobody got time for that. Alright, so now that you got her nice and polished up and ready for some fresh strings, it's time to break out the fresh strings. Now, like I said before, I used the heavier ones before and I regretted it, so I like to stick with just like a classic gauge string. I like the Ernie Ball regular slinkies. No, Ernie Ball is not sponsoring this video, but they are welcome to sponsor ones in the future as I drop their guitar strings on the floor. You failed! Just the 10 through 46. And I like to start heavy and then move light. Uh, some people say you should alternate them. That's fine. But I like to go heavy to light. Whoa, just take it easy, man. Kind of lets the neck breathe a little bit as you get them adjusted on there. And I don't need to tell you how to do the little details, because you know how to do that. And if not, there's other videos out there. What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. I like to use a string winder when I first get going. I like the electric ones, too, those drills. I don't have one, but I've used them in the past. So yeah, that's the 46 gauge string I put on the low ends. On the low E, next we're going 36, and then we go down from there. And watch out for these loose strings up top before you cut them. You might want to bend them back a little bit so you don't, again, poke your eye out. Restringing your guitar is dangerous. you got to be careful. Gotta get a little stretch break in there as well. Rehydrate, of course. I'm drinking sparkling water and cranberry juice right now. Pretty hardcore stuff, I know, I know. One thing you gotta watch when you're doing a Strat as well is that they don't pop out of these little brackets they have for the high E and B string. Then once you have all the strings on it is when I start to tune it up a little more. And you're gonna have these strings adjust, so one thing I like to do is kind of press down on them. It kind of helps them stretch out. It's all based on like the tension of the neck and everything, so it takes some time and these things are gonna fluctuate. So I got this guitar back in 2016, I think it was. I was still living in Harrisonburg jamming, starting to play more of uh, reggae style music, a little funkier kind of stuff. I'd owned a Stratocaster before this one. It was a tobacco burst, but I sold it back in the day uh, to get an amplifier cabinet, I believe. Traded the Bluesmobile for this? And I'd always kind of wanted another Strat, so I got this bad boy. I feel like I used to jam in like the living room back in the day. 406, those who know. <laughs> and then ended up playing it a bunch with Iron Lion. Shout out to Iron Lion. I'm pretty sure every show I played with him I had this guitar, except for like one or two maybe I would have used the SG, but had a lot of fun and it always was a sturdy and go-to guitar that you could still get some silky sweet smooth tones out of that had a really sick skank for the reggae tone as well. Just always a dependable guitar. All right, so now that I got the strings approximately where I think their tension should be, I'm gonna grab a tuner and start tuning this bad boy up. And now's when you can actually start tuning it and start getting into each individual string and what it should be. It's gonna pull sharp, so if you have to tune them up, you might wanna tune them up a little sharper. That way they kind of correct back into the right territory. The higher strings always make me nervous. It's risky business. I've broke strings doing that before, so sometimes you may not even be able to tune that highest one up yet, but give it time. Let your Stratocaster adjust. It's so worth it for the tone that you get out of it. Stratocasters in particular are just such an expressive instrument. Like, you can really do a lot of bends, a lot of pulls, a lot of double stops. 
and a lot of that stuff is just because that strat is has that neck and that feel the way it does. And then once you get it where it's pretty much staying in tune for the most part, then you can kind of play around a little bit. And when you do that, you know, give the strings a rough time. Give them a few bends, give them a few pulls, you know. You want to stretch these out. Once you get them stretched out, then they'll stay in tune for longer periods of time. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that Stratocaster tone that you know you like. That's just guitar going straight into this module. No pedals, nothing like that. And that's the great thing about a nice Stratocaster, especially when you put those fresh strings on, just that bounce you get to them. And then, you know, every now and then you just gotta fire up the Tube Screamer a little bit because there's nothing like a Fender Strat through a Tube Screamer. I am Lefty Luke. Thank you for tuning in to Zen and the Art of Stratocaster Maintenance. I had fun doing this. Let me know if you want to see more guitar-related videos like this. Subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you get notified when I put it on a new video. Thanks again for tuning in. Leave a comment. I am Lefty Luke. See ya.